foster little cats straight off the streets into the home of the president. No one looks like a nerd or a geek with handphones anymore. They all turn into Diana Ross, or my swishy hairdresser with Madonna morality. Damien Sin becomes the patron saint of trash, as trash revives a country long dogged with hypocritical monstrosities. The hills are alive with the sound of Mark Almond spraying stray bullets at those who went to Sting and Paul Simon concerts, and Pearl Jam fans repent for a chance to catch the Pet Shop Boys and Nina Simone with the promise of no more black t-shirts, but sequins straight off Andy Bell's ding-a-ling string. Children are literally a scream and stereophonic sound to make everyone realize we're dealing with wet diapers and nasty drips that turn stomachs in restaurants. Holy cow, even the marriage council folds up to unfold a new institution, the aesthetics of Pasolini. And for one, Salo swipes the Oscars from the god-awful Schindler's List while Bruce LaBruce gets the Lifetime Achievement Award. Everyone eats doggy do in memory of Divine while the pigs and the sleaze bags from the stock exchange could only go so far as haggle. No one's fashionable and nothing's cool. We wear dresses instead of hip-hop threads. Life becomes an endless shootout with a board of senses. And life wins, of course. Why do you want to die, dirtbag? Go eat dogs and leave divine the do. No one deserves it like she do. Marion Faithful's Broken English is the textbook of our redemption. As Fellini is sold at Kmart's and Roma gets prime time on TV. There's no wheel of fortune as all fortune sees. Money is a thing of the past and no newsreader feels like the creme de la creme of the goggle box. The sprawling tide of rip mania takes over and rides this country into the next millennium in a heady mix of zen and trash ethic, big enough to swallow all the bloody Mercedes Benz and BMWs under one roof. And still we sing, this is where it all happens. 